Hey Virgo, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. It's been a long minute. I've kind of had a little bit of a sabbatical going on, but I have um, grown and learned and I'm completely refreshed, on fire and ready to go. Virgo, this is a general reading for your sign. It may resonate with you. It may not. Do not ever make a life-altering decision off of a general tarot card reading. That's just insanity. Okay, get a real tarot card reading um, from your favorite tarot card reader. If you would like a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There is a link in the box below. All right, Virgo, here we go. Oh, let me tell y'all. Now I'm using the same deck twice. Okay, this is the brand new Tarot Illuminati. This is the old Tarot Illuminati, right? I've used tried and true Tarot Illum Illuminati deck for the foundation cards. And I have used the new super slippery <laughs> brand new Tarot Ill Illuminati deck for the clarifying cards. Okay, I love this deck and um, I think it's awesome that I can use them in double duty. I don't mix them together. I use one for the clarifying and one for the foundation. Okay. All right. So Virgo, you open this reading with the Ace of Swords, having some absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity about the, the, the success and the progress of a situation in your life. The world card comes in and says that you have some personal closure about what's going on here because there has been an absolute tower moment. Um, I feel like it's a revelation and an awakening, but I also feel like it's upheaval and chaos as well. I mean, like a true tower moment right? The upheaval and chaos has created a revelation and an awakening for you. And the chariot comes in and talks about um, the action that you're going to take to remedy this situation. The nine of pentacles. This nine of pentacles is about a culmination. It's about bringing things to conclusion. And the strength card says that it's not easy for you because you have a lot of overwhelming emotions because either your heart is broken, you're going to have to break somebody's heart or the situation is breaking hearts all the way around because the five of pentacles says you're leaving somebody out in the cold or somebody's leaving you out in the cold. Okay. King of Swords. This is a decision. Oftentimes for me, the King of Swords is a decision that affects your life made by somebody else. Okay. Doesn't have to be, but somebody is making a decision in this situation because of the Seven of Swords. You have discovered the revelation and the awakening with the Tower moment that there is betrayal, deception, and just general shady shit going on in this relationship. The Seven of Swords is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, who it is that you give and receive with on a daily basis. To the Five of Pentacles is in a state of spiritual poverty, right? Five of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. In a Two of Cups relationship, there is a breakup, okay? There's a breakup in a Two of Cups relationship for you. Two of Cups relationship meaning a unified love relationship or a partnership. Eight of Swords says that you've put the wood to the fire about this, right? Thinking and overthinking, and um, it uh, has you has you wrapped up, right? And as painful as the Eight of Swords energy may be, okay, this is a self-imposed mental restriction. Eight is where we get things done. Eight is the number of movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, and success. Okay, so you are in this Eight of Swords energy, but you're getting shit done. What you come to the conclusion of in this Eight of Swords energy is that this whole situation is not what you want with the Nine of Cups. It is not wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Ace of Swords says that you're going to take some inspired action Ace of Swords says you're going to take some inspired action. Um, actually, I retract that. 
I retract that. This Ace of Wands, I called it Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands is about, it's about a lack of motivation, okay? It's not inspired action. Well, you are going to take some inspired action to relieve this situation, but this Ace of Wands is telling me that you have a lack of emo a lack of motivation because in your feels with the Queen of Cups, you are feeling emotionally insecure, right? This relationship is not giving you any kind of emotional security and you have a lack of motivation to move on. Seven of Cups says somebody has options and choices and it leaves you confused with the Five of Swords telling us that there is conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, and mind games happening here because somebody has a third party situation going on. Now I want to point out as we go through this reading, this third party situation isn't like an active cheating situation, but there is a third energy in this relationship that is not you. Okay. So it's you, this other person, and then we have this queen of wands floating in the background, right? Just kind of floating around her presence being known in the background. Okay. This queen of wands, she's, she's, she could be somebody that's into the metaphysical. This queen of wands is somebody who has a lot of intuition, right? She's very passionate, um, but she's also um, an extremely demanding energy as well. So we, we have this queen of wands floating around in the background of your relationship, to the high priestess. You know this in your subconscious mind. You don't have to see text messages. You don't have to witness anything. You don't have to hear anything from everybody else. You know that you know that you know in your intuition that your person is thinking about somebody else. If they have not took action yet, taken action yet, um, you know that this person is on their mind. Okay to the king of pentacles. This is your person right here. This king of pentacles, you can't, you can't see that, can you? This king of pentacles is your person. Whether it is a Taurus or not makes no difference, but you see them as the king of pentacles, okay? You see them as somebody who represents security, control, power, ambition, right? Um, successful, somebody that that is just, that just embodies the energy of the king of pentacles and the queen of swords being you comes in and says, nah, bro, I don't think so. I don't think so. Cause as far as I'm concerned, being an earth sign Virgo, being possessive and, um, and not tolerating a third party situation, Virgo taking on the energy of the queen of swords says, no, I don't think so. Six of swords comes in and says, you out regretful, but necessary transition to the three of pentacles because of a lack of teamwork and collaboration. And I want to point out that this three of pentacles is also a third party situation and it's reiterated because it's followed by the queen of wands. See in this three of pentacles card right here, there's one too many people. There's one too many people. There's the woman who wants it built. There's the man who's going to build it. And then there's this third shadowy energy in the background that doesn't need to be there. He does not need to be involved in this. It's like the husband who won't let his wife go grocery shopping by herself, or quite frankly, the wife who won't let the husband out of the house by himself, right? It's that kind of energy. So you're making a regretful, <coughs> excuse me, my mouth waters when I read the tarot cards and I oftentimes choke on my own spit, Virgo. Sorry about that. So you're making a regretful but necessary transition, right? Because of a lack of teamwork and collaboration, because there is a third party situation. There's that queen of wands again, a third party situation. The two of wands comes in and says, you're out. You're planning for your future. You have discovered that there is this queen of wands and you are planning for your future. The wheel comes in and says, you're closing out a cycle to the prince of wands, closing out a cycle 
and you are, um, you are, because you're obsessed, you are obsessed with your King of Pentacles person being, having this Queen of Wands on their mind. It drives you insane and you are closing out this cycle. Seven of Pentacles says that the, that the investment that you have made has not returned the profit and the reward that you anticipated. Nine of Pentacles, again, says you are bringing it to a culmination and you're closing it out. And the Ten of Swords says that you are putting an absolute ending to the situation. The Ten of Swords is about being backstabbed, defeated, and betrayed, putting an absolute end to the situation. So Virgo, um, sorry about all of that. I truly am. I am sorry that this is happening to you, but nevertheless, if, if you don't see, if this, you could see yourself anywhere in this reading, right? This hasn't happened for you yet. You're in the middle of this or it's over. Okay, find yourself anywhere in between. But if this hasn't happened for you yet, might want to have a heads up to keep your little antenna up for this Queen of Wands to be surfacing in your King of Pentacles mind or life. Um, if this is happening for you, um, stay strong, Virgo, stay strong and know that you are making the right decision to um, excuse yourself from a third party situation. And if this is already happened for you, Virgo, um, I do hope that you are on the upswing and that you do not um, have any residual emotional injuries from this whole situation. Again, do not make a life-altering decision on a general tarot card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Link in the box below. Namaste, my friends.